right, we want to find the solution to this differential equation. As I can see, it's in that k times, so my constant of proportionality times my dependent variable, meaning my function. And all this is, is giving me an initial amount so I can solve for the constant. So first thing I do is I put it in that CE to the KT. So my K becomes 0.14. And then I plug in T equals 0. I set my equation equal to 12. And I solve for C. E to the 0, 1. So C equals 12. And now I simply plug in my constant, my C, into my equation. And this is my solution. So when you're given a differential equation in this form, first step, put it in the C, E to the KT. If you are given an initial amount, okay, or any amount, I should say, at a particular time, plug that in and then solve for C. So the amount of ozone Q in the atmosphere is decreasing at a rate proportional to the amount of ozone present. So proportional to the amount that I already know is going to be in this form. If time t is measured in years, the constant proportionality is this negative value because it is decreasing. So I can write my differential equation. This is my constant of proportionality times the quantity at a particular time. Now I can use this to write the general solution, that C e to the kt. So I use C to represent any um, arbitrary constant. And here's my e to the kt. So I plug in my k, and that's my value. It says if this rate continues, approximately what percent of the ozone in the atmosphere now will decay in the next 22 years? Well, we just simply plug in 22. But notice we have this constant. But in this case, this is just saying that um, approximately 94.6%, so if I make this a percentage, of the current ozone will still be here in 22 years. So in 22 years, 94.6%. So the question was, is how much will decay? So 100% minus that value. Because this constant of proportionality um, if, if you remember, looking back at the graph, it's just changing the shape of how quickly it's actually decaying. The rate at which a drug leaves the bloodstream and passes into the urine is proportional to... So all these examples are getting you set to know um, which differential equation you're going to set these up, to, up with to the quantity of drug in the blood at that time. An initial dose is injected directly into the blood, 20% is left in the blood after three hours. Write a differential equation and then solve for Q of the drug in the blood after T hours. So I already know the format of this because I know it's proportional. So I know the format's going to look like the C, E to the KT. I know that the drug is leaving the bloodstream. So my constant of proportionality is going to be negative. My Q sub zero is going to be my initial. So it says, if an initial dose is injected directly into the blood, 20% of that initial, 20% of that initial is left after three hours. And I, I switched the order of these. We typically like the number out front. And so from here, as you can see, I can solve for K because I can divide off that initial value, the Q sub zero. So if I divide Q sub 0 on both sides, I am left with just 0 0.2 equals e to the negative 3k. Now we've done many of these of how do you solve this for k. Take ln of both sides. So I ln both sides, um, I, which brought down my negative 3k. I divide by negative 3, and now I get my constant of proportionality. So now I actually have my k that I can use to further answer the question. How much of the drug is in the patient's body after six hours if the patient is given 109 milligrams initially? Remember, q sub 0 is your initial amount. And so as I can see, about 4 milligrams. All right, a half-life, um, it's kind of funny because, you know, a lot of students say, well, half-lives are hard. Well, you're just taking the half, you're de decreasing in this case by a factor of one-half over and over and over. 
So it says the half-life of this um, ingredient in Prozac is about three days. If a 50 milligram dose is given, when is the quantity remaining at 6.25 milligrams? So half-life, meaning it's being cut in, cut in half, okay, is about three days. Start at 50. How many days until you get to 6.25? All right, think about that before I just answer it. You could pause the video, try to figure it out on your own. And now, as I can see, if I half the 50, I'm at 25. I half it again, I'm at 12.5. I half it again, 6.25. Well, this is happening every three days. So three, six, nine. So it takes three, nine days total. Uh, we have this acid is a drug to control epilepsy. It's half-life in the human body is about 15 hours. Use the half-life to find the constant K. So we already know what that is in our differential equation. Uh, at what time will 10% of the dose remain? So use the half-life to find the constant K in my differential equation. So half of my original quantity when, and here it says, um, about 15 hours when time equals 15. So I plug everything in. I set my initial quantity E to the, now notice this is actually um, half-life, so it's cutting it in half, so my constant of proportionality has to be negative. And I have the same thing that I did a couple of slides back where I can solve for K. So you go through all those steps again, divide by Q sub zero, take LN, and you should get this value for K. You should do this. You don't just sit there and say, uh-huh, uh-huh, because uh -huh, you're going to see this on the test, right? So be sure you go through all the steps. It says, at what time will 10% of the dose remain? Well, 10% of what was there. Okay, so when will 10% remain? Go through all my steps again, divide by Q sub zero, I take LN of both sides, divide this piece off, and then I can get my... 49.84 or about 50 hours later. Um, oil is pumped continuously from, so leaving, so I know I'm going to have a negative of my constant of proportionality to the amount of oil left in the well. And initially, so here's my initial amount, 1.1 million of barrels of oil in the well. Then six years later, 500,000 barrels remain. At what rate was the amount of oil in the well decreasing when there were 600,000 600, barrels remaining? All right, so again, I know, I know how to set this up because I know it's being pumped out of the well, so my constant of proportionality is negative. I can go straight to my solution, my CE to the KT. So now what I do is I just start plugging things in that I know initially there were 1.1, so that's my initial amount. Six years later, okay, six years later, um, 500,000, and this is in millions, okay, so that's why it's the 0 0.5. And so it says, at what rate was the amount of oil in the well decreasing when there were 600,000 barrels remaining? Now, here you need to be careful because everything we've been doing is plugging stuff in over here, right? But I really need this at what rate? So this is actually my rate that I'm looking at. So I have to figure out what K equals. I have something over here that I can solve for K. Go through all those steps we've been doing. You can see all these problems are the same. I find out what K equals. So I take this amount and I plug it in. And then it says 600,000 barrels remain. So I multiply it by that 600 barrels, 600,000 barrels, and I get my answer. So the rate oil is decreasing is about 78846 seven, barrels per year. All right, so the whole point of this lecture is to get you comfortable with the differential equation Okay, where you have the constant of proportionality times your dependent variable, and then to be able to put it into a solution, and then use the solution for making further predictions. So practice these.